Hello, this is a short screencast to show you how to take a publisher file, a Microsoft publisher file, or any other kind of file for that matter, convert it to PDF, upload it to Google Docs, share it, and then embed it into a Google site. So, for an example, we're going to take this Microsoft publisher file, and the first thing I need to do, because uh, Google Docs doesn't support publisher, is I want to create a PDF file. So I'm going to click on the file menu and I'm going to go to print and you should have a printer driver installed called Qt PDF. If you don't you can let me know or you can search Google and download Qt PDF writer for free. Basically it acts as a printer and so once you select that and hit print it's going to ask you uh, for a file name any second now and there it is because I'm going to be moving this to somewhere online I'm just going to save it to my desktop that's fine um, this particular file is called 2011 rules that'll work for this purpose and I'm going to click save and you'll see that over here now there is a PDF file called 2011 rules and when I open it it's going to be exactly what we just saw from the publisher file but this is a much better format to use uh, in Google Docs. Okay, once we have that and we have our, our file, uh, we need to go to Google Docs and we need to upload this file. So once I'm in Google Docs and logged in, I'll click on the upload button. I'll click files and I'll navigate to my desktop, which is right here, and I'll select the PDF file I just created and click open. It's going to upload the file and there it is right there. So once it's done, we need to share it now so that it can be visible on the web. So I'm going to right mouse click it, go to sharing, or go to share, click on share again. And under private, I want to change that and just put anyone with a link, just like that. And then I'm going to click save, and then I'm going to click done. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to click on the file itself because there's uh, some... Uh, one other step I have to get before I move to Google Sites. So I'm going to click on the file and you'll see that the PDF file will shows up in Google Docs, which is kind of cool. I'm going to click on the file menu and I'm going to get embed this PDF file. I'm going to cl click on that and I'm going to get <clears throat> this code. It's a bunch of ugly code, but it's something that's really important. You'll see what we'll do with it. Just highlight it all, right mouse click and go copy click OK and now we can go to Google Sites and so this is a site that I'm going to or just a page I'm going to put this in so I'm going to click on edit page and then I'm going to select my insertion point right here and I'm going to click on insert and I want to go down to more gadgets so I'm going to click on more gadgets and you should be able just to scroll down here to see the embed gadget um, gadget and we're going to click on it and hit select and now you're going to have this box presented to you and this is where you're going to paste that code that we just copied so I'm going to right mouse click and go paste and you'll see it's right there under width I would make sure you make that at hundred <clears> percent so that it'll take up the width of the page and it'll look better um, you could take this title off if you want or you can put a little title on there if you want it doesn't matter but I, I, I generally like to take those off and I like to put in a scroll bar so 100% wide include a scroll bar um, I like the border and you can uh, uncheck the display title on gadget if you want if you want to see what it looks like you can just hit preview gadget and it'll show you what it's basically going to look like when it shows up so I'm going to click OK for now and you'll see that this gadget shows up right here and when I click Save you will see that the file is now showing up on my page. That's pretty cool. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. Thanks.